What's up guys, today I'm showing you how to get set up on Wonderland Time. I will guide you guys through every step of the way and if you have any question or are confused about anything that we cover in today's video, just drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. Hey, what's up and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community, with the knowledge and resources to help you get your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and of course, guys, smash the like button on this video. All right, so today's video is a tutorial on how to get set up on Time Wonderland. If you guys are new to Time Wonderland and are not sure what it is or how it works, you could check out this tutorial that we did here earlier this week where we completely explain what Time Wonderland is, how it works, and if it's something that you should think about putting your money into. For those of you who already watched that video, then you're all caught up and let's dive right into today's video. So the first step to get started on Wonderland is you need to buy AVAX. Wonderland time is on the Avalanche network, so it is actually really good because the fees are very, very cheap. So if you don't know where to buy AVAX, I personally buy it on KuCoin, but here is a list of every exchange that you can buy AVAX on. So KuCoin is the one I use, but you can buy it on places like uh, Coinbase, Crypto.com, Binance. I think at this point, it's basically on any real and any major exchange. So you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. Now the next step is you have to send it to your MetaMask wallet. So if you do not have a MetaMask wallet set up yet, just go to Google, search up Chrome Web Store, click on the Web Store and simply search MetaMask pops up and you just have to add onto Chrome. Once it's added, it should look like this where you could just pop it open and see your account. Now, when you first start this, your account is going to be on the Ethereum mainnet. So the next step is that you have to add in the Avalanche network. So to add the Avalanche network onto your MetaMask, you go back to Google, you type in MetaMask, how to add Avalanche, click this first link right here, scroll down and literally just follow this tutorial. It tells you exactly how to add it. So once you've done that, you should have the option to click on Avalanche network. So what you're gonna do here is go to, for me, it would be KuCoin, but for you, wherever you bought your AVAX, go to withdraw. And then when it asks for your address, just copy this address right here and paste it on that address. Now, another thing to know is that this is the C chain, okay? So AVAX has a uh, different chain. This is a C chain. So make sure that the exchange that you're sending it from sends it on the C chain. Sometimes you'll have a option to pick which chain you wanna uh, choose it on, you wanna send it on. So just make sure it is on the C chain then simply copy this and go ahead and send it, make that withdraw. So once you send it, you should receive it rather quickly. I would say in under five minutes and you should see your AVAX just like this. So now here you have a couple different options. Wonderland has been making some upgrades and some changes to the protocol. So now you actually don't have to buy time itself anymore. You could just buy the wrapped memo and you will still get your rebasing rewards. So first I'm gonna show you the way that I've done it because I bought time and I staked it on the protocol. So I'm gonna show you that way first, then I'm gonna show you the other way. So there's two ways to do it. You could either go to SushiSwap. This is actually a new protocol that Time is working with before they were doing most of their uh, liquidity was on Trader Joe. Now they've been moving it over to SushiSwap. So you can actually buy Time right here on SushiSwap. All you basically have to do, you just make sure you connect your wallet here at the top right. It'll ask you to connect your wallet. Once it's connected, make sure you're, you're on the Avalanche network. Then on the swap from, you're gonna hit, make sure that it's on AVAX. Swap to, you're gonna make sure it's on time. And then you're gonna add in the amount that you want to swap. Now you never wanna swap your entire amount. You want to leave some room for, to be able to cover gas fees. So usually what I do is after this, the point and the first digit, I just kind of erase everything else. And, uh, and that should be enough to cover those gas fees. If you wanna do it on Trader Joe, you can do it as well. It's Trader Joe 
xyz.com. You just hit trade, then you come over to Trader Joe, you hit max. Again, I'm not going to set up the entire thing. And then over here, you switch it to time. Once you switch it to time, then you will see the amount of time that you're estimated to get. And then you could just hit swap. You can see the, the fees here, you know, the price impact and all that. So once you have your time, then what you're going to do is hit add time to wallet. And basically what that's going to do for you is going to add it into your wallet like this. So then you'll be able to see when you have the time in your wallet. So once you do the swap and you see the time in your wallet, now you're ready to go to the Wonderland protocol. The website is of course, wonderland.money. You're going to hit enter app. Once you hit enter app, you go over to where it says stake, and then you're simply going to either stake it or you're going to wrap it. Now, this is where the difference comes in. So what I did in the past was just stake it. So basically I would approve this and then I would hit max and I would just hit stake time at that point. Once I staked it, then it would add, add it to my balance right here and that's it, I was pretty much done. But now they're actually telling you that it's better to just wrap your memo. So basically when you have time, once you stake it, it switches over into memo. Once you have memo, every eight hours, this uh, position increases. The amount that you have increases. Now, if you, instead of having memo, you wrap your memo. Now, every eight hours, instead of your entire position increasing, what happens is that the value of your wrapped memo increases. So that's the main difference. Now, how does that benefit you? Well, if you're in the United States, it will benefit you because if you're holding just memo, then you're only paying once you sell, right? If you're holding regular memo, then legally you're supposed to be paying taxes on every single rebase. Every time you earn more memo, you're supposed to uh, pay taxes on that. But it does feel like the team is trying to push everyone towards a wrapped memo. So if you just wanna get ahead of the curve, you could do that. Either way, um, there's really no big difference other than that, that you either going to gain more position or you're going to gain more value. Either way, it's the same, right? You're still gaining the same amount of interest, whether you're in memo or in wrapped memo. So if you want to wrap it, you could just stake it so it could switch over to memo. Once you're staked, then you hit up here where it says wrap, put the amount that you want to wrap. It tells you how much wrapped memo you're going to have, and then you hit approve. If you just want to avoid all that, you could actually on Sushi Swap, you can swap your AVAX directly for the wrapped memo and just hit swap. And that's it. You literally don't have to do anything else after that. Your wrapped memo will now begin getting rewards every eight hours. So at that point, you don't have to go through the process of uh, setting up, uh, staking it and swatch, swapping the time for memo, etc., etc. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty simple to do. To summarize, basically, you have to buy AVAX, send it over to your MetaMask, then either buy time or wrapped memo. If you buy time, then you go over to wonderland.money and you stake your time. If you buy wrapped memo, then that's the last step. After that, every eight hours, you will see that either balance increase or the value increase. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 20,000 subscribers in the next few months. And of course, if you guys have any questions about anything that we covered in today's video, drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.